This is the fourth in a series of tutorials that we plan to do on basic principles for the using the TaxonWorks interface to get uh, information on taxa and also uh, basic uh, practices for uh, adding information to the to the TaxonWorks interface. And again, just a reminder, there are some resources at this uh, location in on the Google uh, Drive. Uh, we have a manual for taxon works there and a, uh, a checklist of activities associated with adding a new species name, which both uh, lists activities associated with creating the new name and associated information, and then uh, adding information associated with the OTU, which is what we're going to do uh, today. So this is the Taxon uh, Works uh, interface. So we're going to go to the species name that we created in the last tutorial. And so we've got a smart search field here. We just need to type in enough for it to find it. So it's Salaphagus guanziensis. There we go. Okay. So this is the this is the this is the nomenclature page. But what we want to do is go to the OTU page. So there's a there's a little toggle button up here on the top of the screen. It's a, a blue a button with a hexagon and a right arrow. And so it, if we hit that, we should go to the OTU that's associated uh, with that species name. And so now you see the, the, the species name uh, here, you, you, you can toggle back and forth between the, the taxon name and the associated OTU by just using that uh, little uh, uh, blue button. So we're gonna create a citation here. And let me go back and indicate there, there are really three uh, icons here which aggregate uh, various useful tasks. There's the OTU annotator, which we're going to use uh, first. And this is a place where you can add citations or uh, depictions, and we're gonna do uh, both. And then the other one that uh, is very useful is called quick forms. And uh, this is where you can add things like uh, geographic distributions, host uh, information and uh, so forth. So we're gonna start here with the with adding a citation and so it already knows about it because i i used it before so it's also in the pin board so it's uh woo at all pages three to six so we create the citation and now we have the option to to associate topics particular topics that are treated in the paper now these are project specific or project uh, dependent. And so these are all the topics that John Noyes was using for the Universal Chalcedoidea database in, in London that, that he created and, and spent much of his career working on. So all this has migrated over. And so as you see, there's quite a lot of different topics. There's courtship, cytology, karyotype, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But I have put the topics that I use all the time in my pin board and uh, so, so that they're, uh, I don't have to fish around in that great big list. And so this paper uh, gives the distribution of this species. It talks about adult morphology, it's figured, and there's a, a taxonomic diagnosis. So if I refresh the screen now, now it's added a citation, you know, and, and, and it's added all those topics to the, to, the, uh, to the citation. Now notice that it, it lists, and this is what John Harity referred to in the last uh, tutorial. It, it, it lists the type specimens that we have put in so far down here. Uh, so if we click on this one, it has the image you might, if you watch the third tutorial, you remember that we added an image of the, of the holotype. And so, and so that's there. It's a little bit buried, but it's there. But we can put other images in, in there and they'll show up here. And, and this is done in depictions. 
So we get something that looks a lot like, we want a new depiction. We, something that looks a lot like that depiction screen that we saw in when we created the, the holotype. So here is the second plate, uh, which is a male. And then here is the caption. I'm just gonna cut and paste it in from the This again. There we are. Okay. We make sure to update down here. And so now we have the the depiction. So if we refresh the screen here, this now shows up in images. Okay, so there's an image of a male here, a, a plate of figures of a male, and then there's a, a plate of figures of the, the female holotype. So the other two things we're going to add and now, just one quick quick addition there is the data depiction is when you're taking a picture of a label correct it's of the data not an image yes, like checking that right. box yes that's that's correct is data depiction so if you if you this this is you would check this if you were taking a picture of the of the if you had a picture of the of maybe the type specimen labels, which people often include in descriptions these days. Okay, so uh, two more things, actually three more things. Uh, but uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, add the uh, the distribution uh, that's given in the in the paper, and so we do that in in the quick forms. Let's show it again. Here's the quick forms radial and so we click asserted distribution we're not seeing the pin board here so i have to find the source there it is okay that's the paper this is original and Notice there's a big map down here. So the the locality the, 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 the that they give for this is one Z China. So I'm going to just type that in here and see if it finds it. It's pulling information from various gazetteers. And so there's two different uh, options here. Both of them have a shape, which means it's going to show up on the on the map. I don't know which is preferred. Uh, this one's been used more, so I'm just going to check that. And so now there's, you know, the map is is colored in that, uh, I guess, province of, of of China. So that's the asserted distribution. Now the other information that they give is on the biology. So this is a parasitic wasp. So it's got a host primary host in the terminology that we use in the in UCD, Universal Chalcedoidea Database. And then the, the host is feeding on a fig a species of ficus. And so we're going to add both of these. And we do that here under biological associations. So we're going to check Actually, primary host is the one we want, but I'm going to check all of them so you can see that what the options are. Again, I think this is a this is a UCD project, you know, dependent uh, list. But these are the ones that 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 we've been using, and so this is uh, the primary host is a scale, so I'll check that. The source is Wu et al. Again, and notice I can lock the source which is quite handy. So I don't have to keep repeating that. And, and this is on page six. Okay. And now I'm gonna search 
for the host OTU, and we'll see if we find it. Of course, they abbreviate it in the paper, but this is the If it's in Taxon Works, it'll come up as an OTU. Apparently it is not. So we're gonna customize a, U, a, a new OTU with, with that name. We are not gonna associate it with a, with a Taxon. So we're creating a, a, an OTU, but, but no associated Taxon. I think that's, that's what Matt has, has recommended. So now we're gonna create that. And so now we have the primary host uh, record, but we also have a plant host and or plant associate. A plant host would be for something that say is a gall maker uh, where the plant is actually the host. This is a plant associate. And notice I've got this locked down here. So this all stays the same. And, and, and so I don't have to enter it every time. So the, the plant is ficus. Concina. That doesn't that doesn't appear either. So it's a bit of a worry. Hopefully these aren't misspelled names or or, or something. But we're going to go ahead and and add that information. We have to hit the create button, and so now we've got two uh, two host records here. There's one more thing uh, though that I, that I wanna do. And that in, in the paper, they compare their new species with four other species in the genus. And, and that's, very, that's very important in information. And, and that's also a biological association because there's two, there's two species involved. So I'm just gonna put the first one in here, okay? So compared with now, is uh, the, the, the next biological association. So they compare their new species with, and this is actually on page seven now. I think, no, it's still on page six. Oops, what did I do? Okay, compared with, Let's see if it finds it. Silly Fagus. Macro Homo. Again, this is a smart, smart search field. Uh, that's the species they compare it with. Macro Homo Toma Singh and Agarwal. Okay, so we've created three biological associations now. So if we go back to the OTU page and refresh it, we scroll down here and we see that here's the three uh, biological, biological associations. I'll put the other three in uh, later, just to avoid too much repetition. So that's basically it. There's one more thing I wanna do, however, and that is they give a key to the uh, Chinese species in, of, of Salaphagus at, at the end of this paper. Scroll up to it here. And that's very useful. And it's a very good thing to know about because keys are, the species are hard to come by in a lot of uh, uh, calcidoids. So, uh, we want to be sure and capture that as well. So I'm moving this back off the screen. And uh, notice we've got a, a hierarchy here of, of OTU names. So we're going to just kind of back up to the genus uh, Salaphagus. And we're going to create a citation here. It's Wu et al. And I think it's page eight to nine. create the citation and uh, 
notice that it comes up here in, in, in ones that I've used recently, uh, or I can look at the ones in my pin board. So we're just gonna click key to species. Citation was successfully updated. So now if we refresh the screen, scroll down here, this is a pretty common <laughs> genus uh, and important genus of, of psyllids. We've got the fact that there's a key to species, at least of the Chinese species in Wenzhen and, and Wu et al. Mm -hmm.